The advanced availability configuration provides higher availability, reduces downtime, and supports rolling maintenance. It includes a background server, one or more standby servers, and one or more application servers. To reduce the single point of failure, each of these servers has a direct connection with the database. All these components communicate using an internal CA protocol. Advanced availability is the recommended configuration if you want to achieve the following in your CA SDM deployment. A high degree of CA SDM availability. CA SDM servers are expected to be more independent and more resilient to failures. An availability to remove and return the CA SDM servers to service without bringing down the entire CA SDM installation. Minimal to no downtime during rolling maintenance. Let's watch a demonstration on how you can upgrade from a primary server installation of CASDM 12.9 to an advanced availability installation of CASDM 14.1. On the primary server, right-click on the Setup file and select Run as Administrator to start the installation. Select the language. For this demonstration, we will select English. Click Next to continue. Scroll down to review the license agreement and then select the option I accept the terms of the license agreement. Click Next to continue the installation. Please note that the setup has detected an earlier version of CA Service Desk Manager installed on the system. Click Next to proceed. CA Service Management supports Microsoft SQL and Oracle databases. The database must be installed and configured on a separate server before you install CA Service Management. Let us now select the database in the Database Configuration screen. Let us review the information you need to provide here. Let us select Microsoft SQL Server as the database. Here, Database Server is the hostname of the database server based on where you installed your database. Database name specifies the database name of the target DBMS used by service management. The default value is MDB. Database port specifies the port identifier for the target DBMS. Database server instance is the database instance name. This is an optional field. Database admin user is the admin user that has permission to create user and schema. By default, SA is the default value. Database admin password specifies the database password of the specified user. Multiple CA applications can use the MDB. If the MDB is already installed, the installer will use the same MDB admin user password for CA service management as was specified at the time of the MDB install. In this case, the MDB is not installed, hence you need to specify the password for the MDB admin user. Select the Server Installation Upgrade option to install Service Desk Manager. Click Next to continue. Review the Installation Prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. Specify the common administrator details. These details will be configured with the CA Service Management installation. The default value is CASM Admin. Select the CA Service Desk Manager configuration type to conventional. Let's select the server type as primary server. Next, select the required options to install along with the primary server. The conventional configuration includes a primary server, a database, and one or more secondary servers. Click Next to accept the default CA Service Desk Manager server details. Specify the privileged user details. This allows the user to log in to CA SDM. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the default CA Service Desk Manager optional component details. Specify the required information to configure support automation with CA Service Desk Manager. This allows you to configure the support automation server on the main server. If you select the main server configuration type, 
the host name or IP field defaults to the local host name. All parameters must be provided for the main server except the internal port section and the bind to IP in socket server section which are optional. Click next to continue. Review the pre-installation configuration summary. Click next to continue. Click install to start the installation. You have now set up the primary server for CA Service Desk Manager. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the installation. Let us proceed to the CA SDM configuration. In the Run command, type PDM underscore configure. This opens a window containing the CA SDM configuration window. This will help you configure the primary server from a conventional installation to act as a background server in an advanced availability configuration. The CA SDM configuration page is displayed. Choose the Advanced Availability option. Select the database type to SQL and click Next. Provide the required information for MS SQL database configuration. Click OK. Here you are allowing the background server to use the SQL database. Click Next to continue. Accept the default values and click Next. You can observe that by default the configuration type is selected to background server. This server provides additional services to other servers and runs all singleton processes of CASDM. Additionally, to increase availability, a standby server will be added to shadow the background server. Specify the privileged user details to allow users to log into CASDM. Click Next to continue. Here, you have specified the Tomcat port number and the socket port for Tomcat to monitor shutdown requests. In the Support Automation screen, you will configure the Support Automation server in the main server mode. If you select the main server option and are planning to configure one or more socket proxy servers, you need to set the socket server host name and external port to the socket proxy host. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the CASDM configuration. You can observe the configuration has been completed successfully. Click OK. Once you complete the SDM installation, you can also open CA Service Desk Manager to verify if the configuration is successful or not. Click the Administration tab and under the System option click Servers. You can observe that the background server is active and it has been configured successfully. Next, we will add a standby server to the Advanced Availability configuration. Application and standby servers are first identified within the SDM Web Console on the CA Service Desk Manager Additional Servers Details screens. Once the background server has been successfully installed, these servers will automatically be added to the service list which is required when using the installer to deploy application and standby servers. Click Create New to add a standby server to the Advanced Availability configuration. The primary function of the standby server is to act as a warm standby for the background server. It stays idle during normal working of the system. However, it listens to the internal CA-SDM system messages for database changes and updates the critical caches continuously. If the background server fails or requires rolling maintenance, you can promote the standby server as the background server. Provide the host name, server type and click Save to save the new server. You have now saved the standby server successfully. Let us add the application server to the Advanced Availability configuration. Click Create New to add the application server. The application server has all the CA-SDM components that are necessary to serve the end users through various interfaces like web, SOAP and RESTful web services. The application servers are independent of each other and resilient to the background server outages for short periods of time. Provide the hostname, server type and click Save to save the new server. 
You have now saved the application server successfully. Now you can see that the background server is successfully configured. Next, we need to configure the standby server and then the application server. Let us start with the installation of CASDM 14.1 on standby server. On the standby server, right click the setup file and select run as administrator to start the installation. Select the language to English and click next. Select CA Service Management. Accept the license agreement. Select SQL Server in the database configuration screen. The database configuration details are specified here. You can observe the components of CA Service Management that are installed on the selected MDB. Select the Server Installation option and click Next. Review the installation prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. PS Tools is a performance troubleshooting tool which can be optionally installed. In this case, the tool has not been installed which is why you see the warning indicator on the screen. You can observe by default the server type is selected to standby server since the server is a required component in an advanced availability configuration. Click Next to continue. Provide the primary server hostname and click Next to continue. Provide the CASDM privileged user details. Review the pre-installation configuration summary. Click Install to start the installation. You have now set up the standby server for CA Service Desk Management. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the installation. Now let's start with the installation of CASDM 14.1 on the application server. On the application server, right-click on the setup file and select Run as Administrator to start the installation. Select the language to English and click Next. Select CA Service Management. Accept the license agreement. Select SQL Server in the database configuration screen. The database configuration details are specified here. You can observe the components of CA Service Management that are installed on the selected MDB. Select the Server Installation option and click Next. Review the Installation Prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. You can observe by default the server type is selected to Application Server. Click Next to continue. Provide the primary server hostname and click Next to continue. Provide the CASDM privileged user details. Review the pre-installation configuration summary. Click Install to start the installation. You have now set up the application server for CA Service Desk Management. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the installation. Once the SDM installation is completed, navigate to the CA Service Desk Manager web console to verify that the standby server and application server are configured and active. 